Oh, hell a bit, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today, we're here with a fragrance that has done extremely well since its launch, and it's really taken me up until now to get this fragrance in my collection because it's often an instant sellout. The fragrance comes from Navitas Parfums and the fragrance that I'm talking about is none other than Viva More. All right, Viva More is a fragrance that started off as a Dubai exclusive. And if you know anything about Navitas Parfums, they have this partnerships with different influences, if you will, whether you are a, a fragrance reviewer or if you just are, you know, out there and about and really uh, have a strong social following. And this one is about money kicks, man. and thing came out instant sellout and people wanted to get their nose on it here stateside it came out in a sample kit um they were able to get some of those bottles initially and whoo this one has been a high seller now i have it in my possession now i've been able to try this one out via samples but i'm always willing to give you guys full reviews when i have a full presentation and here we have it now let's get down to the name on this thing viva more uh viva comes from life a more meaning love and there you have it man viva more life and love or love life more love anything i don't know <laughs> but that's kind of what it represents in that aspect ultimately it's the celebration of life and love now here's what this fragrance looks like all right blue translucent bottle pressurized atomata as you can expect with the Navitas Parfums and an amazing scent. Now this fragrance is described as alluring, confident, and irresistible. But let me show you a little bit more about what you get with this thing here. Now you guys all are familiar with the presentation. You have your box, clips open, and you would find your fragrance there. Fuck the box, all right? <laughs> Let's get down to this here. There is a card here that kind of gives you all of the pertinent information about your fragrance, right? It tells you uh, what you can expect, it gives you the perfumer, and by the way, the perfumer for this fragrance happens to be Jorge Lee. And since we know that Jorge Lee is the perfumer, let's talk about some of the notes that you get with this fragrance. Viva More opens up with lemon, pineapple, rosewood, and then you also get pink peppercorn. In the heart of this fragrance, you're gonna get patchouli, you get oak moss, you get saffron, and then there's also some rose there in the mid. And then when you take this thing down to the dry down, you're gonna get some musk, sandalwood, and also some leather. What does that provide for you? Well, it provides an amazing smelling fragrance that, again, has really been causing a lot of ruckus out there. All right, so enough about the notes. Let me tell you what I get with this fragrance. So, um, Viva More opens up to me as a fragrance that is very zesty, it's bright, and it's a fragrance that I personally find to put me in a good mood. Now, as I mentioned, this fragrance comes off as zesty, and I think that's more so on account of the lemon. Now, a lot of you, when we talk about pineapple within fragrance, including myself, our minds generally go into that Aventus realm and this fragrance doesn't have an Aventus feel to it at all so if you're expecting to get this one and thinking uh you know this may be another Aventus clone or if you're holding off because of that reason then I, I would like to inform you that you are <laughs> strongly mistaken here when you think of Aventus in itself uh, less than enough about that but it's not just about the pineapple there there's that bergamot there's the birch that kind of plays a, a massive role there as well and um, also, you know, get some of that vanilla and the apple, but uh, enough about that. Let's get back down to this fragrance. That that brightness in this fragrance is really uplifting, invigorating for sure. When this fragrance was created, they were really looking to make a fragrance that would work in uh, Dubai, right? The UAE, the Middle East, that part of the world. And uh, it's very hot there. And this fragrance uh, definitely is a fragrance that would work in a hot weather situation. Specifically, if you're here in the US, right now we are in that summer time where the temperatures are getting up there especially if you are you know in a place like florida um texas right uh you know any place here in the u.s right now for the most part you can expect some warmer weather humidity is climbing and this is a fragrance that is really going to set you off to be a really really smelling great 
feeling good about yourself and all those things together really put you in a great mood for compliments. All right, so we talked about the top of this fragrance enough. Let's kind of go into how this fragrance transitions from that top into the mid and then into the base of this fragrance. Now in the mid of this fragrance, I mentioned that there was some saffron here and there's leather in the base of this fragrance. And those two notes together really allow for this uh, leather a feel to really come out within this fragrance and what I'll tell you is that the transition from the top into the base of this fragrance is super smooth now the rose in this fragrance is not a pungent rose at all and it also lends to in my opinion some of that versatility that you would get within this fragrance versatile yes this fragrance is one of those fragrances that you can wear to the office or wear casually and I think that this fragrance could transition well from a uh, dinner date, the professional setting, and you know anything else that you are going to wear a fragrance for, this one is really going to work. This is the fragrance that, to me, when I smell this fragrance and when I wear this fragrance, really puts me in a, hey, I'm bossed up. Uh, this is a fragrance that I feel confident wearing. And I know that likely I will be one of the best smelling people in the room, if not the best smelling person in the room, which I likely feel like I am all the time. Um, that's just me being me. Now I also say that this fragrance has this sweet element to it, but it's also like a underlying sweetness there. And I really get that in between, obviously the top of that, I get some of that fruity quality. Um, and that may be just a carryover of some of that fruity elements coming down into the base, into the dry down of this fragrance, but it's there, but it's not an overtly sweet fragrance. So it's not one that um, I feel is juvenile, or if you are a older gentleman, more mature, that you would feel like this fragrance isn't for you because I don't feel like that's the case at all. Um, this fragrance to me is really going to go across all age groups extremely well. You could be a someone in high school rocking this fragrance and feel like you're one of the best smelling people out there, or you could be the CEO in the boardroom rocking this thing here and still be one of the best smelling people out there and feel confident in that approach. That's my take on this. Um, listen, I think that this was an, a phenomenal fragrance, right? And to me, this fragrance, although it's one of the original, this fragrance stands out as one of those flagship fragrances of the Navitas line up there, right? That's my personal thoughts and opinions here. And obviously, you guys know I had nothing to do with making this fragrance. Um, just is what it is, man. It's a solid scent. Um, and I have my own fragrances there as well. Be sure to check those out. But listen, if you're looking to try something within the brand, this is one of those fragrances that I think is an easy point of entry, as well as we have discounts available now as well. And I'll leave that link and listed down below. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this fragrance tends to sell out quickly. So uh, make sure you get your nose on it. If it's there, <laughs> go ahead and buy it, man, because uh, I think you'll be really, really uh, excited that you did. Now, in terms of longevity and performance on this fragrance, as I mentioned, this fragrance was made to perform in that warmer weather. It should last an environment like that, right? Uh, this fragrance, what you'll get here is uh, about six to eight hours in terms of longevity um, is what you can expect here. Uh, on my skin, on good days, I'm getting about eight plus, but I think on average, you can expect between that six and eight hour mark on it. That's my personal opinion there. Let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any that are a little bit different. In terms of projection, great projection on this fragrance. Um, nice scent trail for that sillage there. And again, Again, it's a fragrance that really, really smells amazing. Right? Don't take my word for it. Do it yourself. Try it out. It's also available in the sample pack um, that I have Discovery Set 2, man. Make sure you check that one out. All In is Viva More a fragrance I would recommend. Yes, is it a fragrance that I would gift someone? Yes, is it a fragrance that I would feel confident with? Yes, does it meet the purpose of this channel of getting compliments and helping you feel more confident? I believe so. Check, check check make sure you check this one out viva more i have everything linked and listed down below for you as always i'm your boy big beard beard hit the like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the god damn bell